going to insert stairs. We select winder stairs. We will insert them inside the building. As we want the staircase to start before the wall, we are selecting the reference option. We are indicating the first turn of the stairs. On the item bar, we select the width icon and we define the flight width by typing the value. Then we indicate the next turn. If we disable the ortho option, the stairs can have any shape depending on the user's needs. We finish with a right click or using the enter key. Only after the stairs have been inserted can we define their parameters, which largely result from how we have just shaped the stairs. We enter the properties. Now we are checking the stairs ergonomics using the step length option. Everything is correct, but we are still going to modify the tread depth. Here we need to decide what the stairs are going to look like. We can, for example, switch to the stair tread, switch off the tread riser and switch on the stringers. We can modify the stairs tread's nose length and confirm the modifications. The stairs automatically cut a hole in the ceiling, but it can be seen only after the insertion of the ceiling. Using the ramp option, we are inserting the drive to the garage. The option can be found among stairs. We'll define it below the level zero. and its height will match the lower edge of the level. We are using the reference option. We will start the drive at 400 centimeters from the building. The ortho option has to be active. We enter 400 centimeters, while the length of the inclined part will be 300 centimeters. We can indicate or type the width. Right before the garage gate, we will create a horizontal part by inserting a landing. If we wanted to insert the ramp any further, we could indicate its three directions, but in this case, it's not necessary. So we finish drawing with a right click or using the enter key.